Bruh. This script is was written like two months ago. What the flippity flop took me so long to make this video. Uh, and there's even a COPPA disclaimer on the top. That's how long it's been. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I also uh, fixed my mic a little. So it shouldn't pick up clicking as much. But that also means I have to be closer to my mic and turn up the volume uh, at the in the editing thing. Um, <clears throat> I think I can read it from here. Because my mic is all the way on the other side of my desk. If you were curious. <laughs> but yeah, this uh, this... Like I said, this was written like two months ago, so I've kind of gotten over the drama thingy. That's not drama. Why am I calling it drama? <laughs> I've kind of gotten over the whole thing. So I'm just gonna say this because I want to make a video. And this, I don't really have any other ideas to make a video, except I have another idea, but it's kind of like a, a, a PV. So I don't really feel like doing that right now. Um, so I'm gonna start with the script. Okay, so this is actually two stories I've had on DeviantArt. One of them took place a while ago, and the other, uh, like a month ago, being like three months ago now. Both of these deviants are gonna remain anonymous for their protection. However, in one of these stories, if the authorities for some reason do get involved, then I'll have to say their username. Okay, cool, cool. First story is gonna be one that happened, the one that happened longer ago. I think I've made it somewhat established that I am under 18 years old, but Kappa, don't worry, I am over 13. And again, another Kappa disclaimer with the heek. Thankfully, I have the messages saved so I can prove stuff and stuff. I want to read out the messages on the screen because this is a YouTube video and not a piece of literature. This person randomly came to me in my notes saying random stuff. Nice work. How are you? You like roleplay? Cool. I don't really like roleplay, sorry, and whatever face that is. <laughs> no problem, we can chat. IDK, what to chat about though? I'm not really a social person, crying face. Aw, why not? Just try. IDK, genetics. Aw, okay, let's try to be social. Okay, sure. Cool, what do you do? Well, I draw a lol, and this is on DeviantArt, so that's why I said lol. Oh, cool. What do you do? And then this is where things got a little strange. Again, I'm sorry if the responses were a bit weird. I didn't really know how to respond to this whole thing, especially considering I'm not as social as I stated before. Right now on my bed thinking about you. Cool. Hee hee hee, I wish you were here. That's not really how. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I'm kind of chill here, RN. Lol. Come here, I can hug you and make you warm. IDKB face lol. Where are you? At my house lol. Ooh, so I am in your house, in your room, alone with you. Wow, this must be my lucky day. IDK about that. Ha ha ha. You can- <laughs> Can you- Can be my lucky day. What are you wearing? Can I come closer lol? Wearing a savannah shirt, some pants and socks, nothing special lol. Waiting. That's when I knew something was up. I took a quick look at the guy's profile and saw he was a bit older. Mostly though, through pictures. I can't really check his on his actual age though because it's not listed. I called up my parental figures and they gave this guy a beating. <laughs> You're talking to a insert age here, old, you pervert. This is her dad. She showed me your messages. You message my daughter one more time and I'm calling the police. And while you're at it, Go reassess your life. Sorry. After that, I blocked the guy and I never heard from him again. Now, you might think I was scared or something, and I was hecka scared. <laughs> Thankfully, I came in at the right time to silence this guy. Then I drew something not to be legal, and no one favored it. <laughs> you don't need to go to the authorities about this, as long as the guy isn't intentionally going after any other younger people, then it's probably fine. If you do think this is a concern, then send me a note on DA, link in the description. But yeah, that's the first story. Hello, MC from the future, kinda. Again, this was like two months old. <laughs> so I checked the guy's profile again, and his favorites are a bit fishy. It's of females with minimal clothing. Not sure of their ages, though I think they're also not listed. 
maybe it's a girlfriend, but I doubt, based on their bios and stuff. P.S. I think the guy blocked me back because I can't view his profile, but maybe that's because I blocked him, I don't know. Don't have pity, because having conversations like that with people, you should learn their ages first. Usually through normal friend conversation and not harassment. Next story. <laughs> this one kind of makes me a little more upset for some reason because it's much less of a big deal. But it just kind of made me sad. This one is about the salty fangirl. Now, due to the fact that this artist draws himself as a female, I'm gonna refer to her as a female. And also since she blocked me, I don't have a super lot of evidence, so that kind of sucks. This artist was actually watching me for a bit. We kind of favorited each other's art, and I thought it would just kind of be another thing. Then I saw her post art of cuddling purple guy. Yeah, that, that one serial killer guy. Now, I had a quick look at the title and saw that it was called Vincent Afton and uh, the username. Now you know how I am about FNAF details, so I just wanted to post a little joke in the chat. For some reason I had screenshotted the post, probably because I was proud of it or something. So here it is. By the way, I posted it on Twitter after I got blocked, so you've seen it firsthand, people. Follow my Twitter, by the way. If you can't read it, it says, My name is not Vincent, it's William. Just look at the god darn credits. And I, I censored, I censored the original word and replaced it with darn. Because <laughs> DeviantArt, you know. Now, apparently, this triggered her. The comment was blocked a few hours later, and I was also blocked very soon after. I hadn't realized until a lot later, and I got pretty upset about it. She was also off my watch list, but I didn't really care about that as much, considering I had other watchers. But I had never been blocked by anyone else. I made an alt account a week or so later, and tried to apologize through notes. And I'm gonna also read these aloud. Hey, just wanted to apologize about the thing I posted in the comments some time ago. Didn't mean any hate, just wanted to post. I like your art, okay? I don't- and I don't want to be unable to favorite, because I'm blocked. I mean, block this account too if you want, but I just wanted to say sorry, alright? I said I- same thing. <laughs> I didn't get a response, so about a week after that, I went directly to the post that my comment was blocked on and tried there. Can you please unblock me? I'm sorry about the comment. I like your art, but I can't see it. Can we just get over this, please? No response. I just gave up at that point, because I figured any more than that would have been harassment, so I just tried to forget about it. And, well, here I am, not forgetting about it. <laughs> well, now I kind of am, but eh. If you do recognize these artists, please do not attack them or anything like that. Don't- don't send them this video, please. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell my stories publicly, alright? I'm trying to be professional here. Now don't worry about this stuff, and don't call me out for telling this personal stuff, please. I feel like the first story should be shared, but maybe not the second one necessarily. I did censor the names, so I think it's not likely that anyone will have found them or stuff. Again, if you do recognize these people, do not expose them, thank you. Also, I may admit I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read this part. Alright, that's all I really wanted to say. Thanks for watching. Bye. The screaming is optional. <laughs> the screaming is optional.